Under one of my videos, there was a question if I could do a video on speech to text and I'm building up to it. Um, at first I read that question wrong and I did a video on text to speech. So if that's something you want, find that video on my channel as well. Um, but in this video, we're going to see how to record audio. So we're going to learn how to record audio in a Xamarin.Forms application by using a plugin and how to play that back to you. And then in a follow up video from this one, um, if it's recorded by the time you're seeing this, it should pop up in your screen right now. Um, we're going to see how to use that actual audio we captured and um, turn that into actual text. But in this video, we're going to see how to record audio in your Xamarin.Forms application. Let's go. So here we have a file new Xamarin Forms project. Um, so this is the template that you get out of the box. On the left, you can see the XAML and on the right, you can see the running app in the iOS simulator. Um, and that is the XAML that you can see on the left. So um, if we were to change the title right here and make this audio sample, save that. With Hot Reload, you can see it updates the UI automatically. So as long as you just make changes in the XAML, um, you can have them show up automatically on the simulator, emulator, Android emulator, or also on your physical device. It also works for that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so as far for the UI, let's worry about that in a little bit. First, there's a couple of other things that we need to do because this works based off a plugin. Uh, so we're going to install a NuGet package and we're going to go to the solution and the solution level and right click and do manage NuGet packages. Now I'm showing you this on Visual Studio for Mac 2019, but this should also be available on Visual Studio for Windows. The menu option might look a little bit different, but other than that, it should work exactly the same. So manage NuGet packages and we're going to search for audio recorder, recorder, there we go. And you can see it has a good number of downloads uh, at the time of recording, almost uh, 100,000. Uh, but something that worries people is that the plugin uh, is a little bit older. It's from 2018 um, last update. So, you know, it has been a little bit older. Um, you're welcome to go to the GitHub page, of course, uh, put in your pull requests. Uh, maybe, you know, if it will take longer and there's bugs that need to be fixed, maybe you're going to have to create a fork if the original author is not responding. But overall, uh, it has been two years again at the time of recording. And I think this plugin is still working pretty well. Um, so, you know, and I'm on top of that, I really haven't seen any other plugin that can record audio like this. Um, so if there is an other plugin that I do not know about, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to check that out. Um, so we're going to add this one at package and we're going to have to add this to all of our platforms. I think it's supported on Android, iOS, and also UWP. Um, and we have to install it on our shared platform because um, the way this works is um, it's basically just a dependency service that you might know from Xamarin Forms. Um, and in our shared code, it will just give us the shared bits. Um, and then in Android and iOS, it will um, install the native code that is needed to actually record audio on those devices. So we're going to click OK, and it's going to add these three packages to our projects. There we go. And after this is done, uh, we also want to look into the permissions. So for iOS, uh, we want to set the NS microphone usage description uh, in the info plist. So let's go to our info plist and we get this kind of graphical editor. And if we here go to new entry, um, this picker always kind of flickers on me. So we go down to privacy and we find the microphone uses description. Here we go. So we click that. You can also edit this in uh, XML if you want. And here you then have to provide some kind of string value, uh, which is going to be the reason that is shown to the user when it's asked for microphone permissions. And it's going to show the string that you enter here. So you better make sure that you make clear to the user um, the why you want access to the microphone. Uh, so here it is just going to be access to microphone please. 
Uh, but you know, if this is a real app, make sure that it says something useful. Um, that's all. That's all you need to do for iOS. Uh, for Android, so let's close this info p list. For Android, we're going to go to our Android project and into the properties and Android manifest.xml. Uh, again, we have a graphical editor here, uh, but you can also do it directly in XML if that's what you want. Uh, and here we have to do a couple. So we are going to have to say modify audio settings. That is the first one we want to add. Um, the second one is um, write external storage because it might write um, things to your storage uh, for the audio file. So we are going to find that one. We also need read internal storage or external storage, excuse me. Um, so because you also want to read that file uh, the audio file back from the external storage. And the external storage is kind of a weird name uh, because I think it also uses that for like the actual internal storage, but um, it's more like external as of outside your app sandbox, I think is what they mean. Um, then the last thing is record audio. So you also want to have a permission uh, for recording audio, which is kind of like the same thing for iOS where we ask permission for the microphone. So uh, this is all the permissions that you need for Android. So let's just save that and close it. And for UWP, make sure that in your package.appxmanifest, you have the internet and the microphone permission set as well, and you should be good to go. So now that we have everything in place here, um, we can basically remove all these labels here. And I'm going to add back a button, whoops, not over there, it's going to be over here, a button text, start, stop recording. And I'm going to give that a clicked handler, new event handler, all is fine and close the button. Okay, so save that and we get a start stop recording here. So if we now go to our code behind right here, then you can see the clicked handler is created. But the first thing we want to do is find our audio recorder. Um, so what I usually do is just, you know, audio recorder, uh, something like that. And let the IntelliSense solve the rest. So here it is, plugin audio recorder. Um, so well, let's actually do it manually using plugin dot audio recorder. Uh, there we go. And now we should be able to use the audio. Uh, so we have a couple of things actually. So audio functions, I think that is something that came with it. Audio player and audio recording uh, service and also audio stream details, which is probably some object that holds uh, details about our audio stream. But the most important things here is the audio recorder service and the audio player. Uh, so let's start with the recorder service because that is what we were after. And um, actually, let's say, um, I'm going to move this actually to here, the top of my class. So let's make this a private read only because I'm not going to change it. Um, audio recorder service is new audio recorder service. There we go. So now we have a audio recorder service. Let's see what it can do. Um, it can do a whole bunch of things. So let's go to the top here. Uh, we have events, so audio input received whenever audio input is coming in. Um, a silence timeout, so you can um, record until a silence is detected. So uh, whenever a silence is detected, it can automatically stop recording for you. So that comes in typically handy whenever you might create a, um, I don't know, speech to text or maybe some kind of personal assistant and you want to detect audio, but when someone stops talking, then you want to automatically stop that recording and start processing the data. Uh, so the audio stream details, the file path. So I think you can set a file path where um, the audio file should be stored, or if you don't set it, then it will come up with a um, temp path uh, itself where it will store the audio file. Then you can actually get the file path, uh, get the file stream of something that is recorded. You can inspect if the audio recorder service is recording at the time. Uh, preferred sample rate, so you can set uh, some kind of quality things on your audio. Uh, the silence threshold, so that's kind of a percentage, like what is the threshold for someone uh, to be silent, so maybe there's some background noise. Um, so this is something you want to play with to detect that silence the right way. Um, of course, start recording, stop recording, um, and you can also stop recording after timeout. Um, so you can also set a certain timeout so um, it just uh, records for a, a, a finite amount of seconds. 
uh, or minutes or whatever. Um, so you can set like, I want to record a sample clip of 10 seconds and after that it should shut off. Um, so take note that you have to set the timeout and the actual uh, Boolean if that is something that you want to enable separately from each other. So you have to set both things uh, independently to make that work. Uh, I'm not going to do any of that right now. I'm just going to do a simple start recording. So here we go. Or actually, uh, I'm going to look if it is recording, is recording. Uh, then I'm going to um, actually stop recording and else I'm going to do the start recording. So here we go. Uh, whoops. There we go. And here I'm going to say audio recorder service stop recording. And after I do that, I'm going to play it back because the um, it, uh, this plugin also has the um, audio player. So here we go, audio player. Uh, we can also move that, by the way, here to the top of our class. Private, read only, audio player. Audio player is new audio player. There we go. And then with our audio player, we're going to, oops, we're going to play back the audio that we just um, got. And here you can also see it has uh, a couple of things, an event for whenever it's finished playing. So you can toggle your play and pause button and stop button and whatever you're doing. You can pause, you can play, and that's about it. And for the play, we can say, okay, we have a path to the audio file um, and the audio recorder service will have that for us. Um, so here we can just say get uh, file path, there we go, and it will play the file back. Uh, so the audio recorder service is kind of funny how it works because you know it will just basically hold on um, to the last audio that you've recorded either in a stream or in the file path um, unless of course you you know you reset the file path to something yourself and you record multiple files but uh, by default it will just have that same file path and uh, you can get that audio clip from this through the service um, so there is that everything is in place here um, I need to stop and rerun our app to make all these changes work. Now, one funny thing uh, about the simulator, and I'm actually not sure about Android, they might have something like that as well. But for iOS, at least, you can go here into the menu and say IO, and you can see set the audio input and the audio output. So uh, the output, let's set it to, uh, you know, something that you should be able to hear. Uh, so there we go. And the input, um, is going to be the microphone that I'm using right now, which is this one. So, you know, you can select microphones that will be uh, fed into like the simulator. So we can actually record some audio and I can play it back to you as well. Uh, so that is something the iOS simulator can do. Um, I'm not sure if Android has something like this as well, but of course you can always um, test this on your own physical device um, to make sure that everything works as expected. Um, so here is our app coming up. Now, I didn't implement any fancy logic to detect if it's starting or stopping. So let me just uh, click start here, say something, and we can hear if it says that back. Hello, dear viewer. Did you already subscribe to my great YouTube channel? Thank you. Hello, dear viewer. Did you already subscribe to my great YouTube channel? Thank you. So there we go. You can see that um, it started the recording. Then uh, whenever I press the button again, it came through here. It stops the recording. It gets that audio file. And with the audio player, it plays it back to us. So that is pretty cool. Uh, now, again, there is a whole number of settings that you can probably now work with yourself, like um, record something for a certain timeout or uh, whenever the user stops talking, it start, stops recording automatically. Um, so that's things that I will leave you to find out for yourself. Uh, but this is how to record audio in your Xamarin Forms application. Now that you know how to do this, you can do all kinds of epic stuff. Like I said in the beginning, um, you can do speech to text. You can make your own personal like Google Alexa kind of assistant because, you know, with that silence timeout thing, that is pretty cool. I haven't shown you in this video, but if that's something that you still want to see and you can figure out yourself, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video about that as well. Um, if you make something awesome with this, also let me know in the comments because I'm always super interested in the things that you come up with. Um, as always, 
Thank you for watching this video. Please click that like button, click that subscribe button if you want to see more and more context. Hit that bell to be notified of new content automatically, and I will be seeing you for my next video.